Yeah, yes. What the heck, man? This thing got me looking like Hobo City or something. I'm looking busted. Real busted. Anyways, the reason why I'm looking busted is... Yes, I own a business. But... I happened to be off yesterday. And I also was doing like... I was doing like... Independent contractor CNA work. Like home health. And... They asked me yesterday if I could help a client. Well, it went from a three to five shift of helping a client get bathed and clean up a little bit to she went to the ER and I ended up having to pick her up and then also do the tasks of cleaning her. So, put a long story short, was gone all day, super hot. Not drinking anything. That's why I'm looking super busted. And then working all day today. But we're not here to talk about me looking busted or hobo-licious. Like, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about... Arby's. Super expensive. Was it Bacon Ranch? Oh my god, really guys? Crinkle Cut... Bacon Ranch fries. Okay. This is this is them. At first I was like, this looks super little, but I can see for it's five sixty nine. Five sixty nine. I think that's expensive for loaded fries, but I'm also sorta of like wondering what the heck I'm doing buying freaking loaded French fries. And food when I just wanted pizza. Like, I should just got freaking pizza. Anyways, we're going to try this. Might as well. It was expensive. That was one of the new things that they had. So, here's some of the fry with the, with the ranch. Just the ranch. Their ranch is not bad. I think it's a house ranch. You can definitely taste, like, the individual seasonings in their ranch. It don't taste like my album. Okay? It tastes it tastes pretty good. Maybe some pesto in there. I don't know. It's gonna it's gonna stay on your breath though. <laughs> don't have these little fries if you're going on a date. You wanna kiss somebody. Cause that wrench has got some seasonings in there, some herbs. That's gonna cling a bit. Okay, here's some chicken bit. Chicken with fry with fry. So, it's not just like fries with cheese, bacon bits, and ranch. It's actually got pieces of chicken in there, which will attest to the price line. Now, the fries underneath are mostly like just regular fries. All the good stuff is on top. But I can see cheese there, too, so... You're not going to get to the bottom and be like, where's all the good stuff? Because they did make sure some of the cheese got around the side. Now, is that just because it's mine? I mean, not just because it's mine. I'm just saying, like, is that just because, like, it just happened to go around the side? I don't know. But, some more. That one's got cheese. I've had... Arby's cheese sauce before. I think I think it's good. Nothing's better than Taco Bell's cheese sauce. But they probably get that from like Sam's Club, Costco. I'm learning that U.S. Foods, which we call Cisco here, it's probably where people get in their stuff. Okay. That was so much cheese and bacon. Yeah. And this is this is the bacon, guys. It's not like when I say bacon bits, it's not like um it's not like salad bits, okay? It's like full like you you cooked a piece of bacon and you like tore it into pieces. Okay. So you're getting a pretty good size. I don't know if it's like one piece torn into pieces, but these are like pretty good sized piece of bacon. Mm-hmm. See? 
that's a pretty good size. Now, something's a bit odd. I'm hoping the bacon is not like bad. Okay, so let me see. Well, I don't know. We're just like a hint of maybe something was a little off. But it might just be like some of the season, like the herbs or something reacting or something. Let's see. I think if you're just craving french fries, go for it. Um, for five dollars just for french fries, like don't don't try to make it a meal unless you get like a little slider, you know, a slider in then these fries. Because we're breaking your banks. Mm-hmm. Breaking the bank, but fresh hot. Oh, that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of. Sorry, my leg is itchy, guys. I'm not scratching. I'm not scratching the the V. Okay, I'm not scratching the V. Scratching leg. Scratching the L. The leg. <laughs> I'm gonna stop playing with y'all. I am just scratching my leg, though. Um, thanks, camera, for <laughs> whatever, guys. Scratching the leg. Just the leg. We're not trying to stir up things here. <laughs> Oh, clearly Arby sprinkled some of that good stuff on there because laughing city. Anyways, okay, so this reminds me of like if you actually made home food <laughs> and you had like some um, potatoes and you like sliced them into like those little thin potatoes. I, I want to say like scallions. That's not right. I don't know. When you have the potatoes, you make that potato casserole, but, like, the potatoes are, like, really thin, and they're, like, laid across in that design. Anyways, what, whatever. What? Okay, the fork was, like, super weird on my chin. Um, it tastes like a potato casserole with, like, bacon and stuff. So, sort of a chunky potato casserole type thing going on there. Definitely feeling... Yeah, you're gonna get full. Satisfying. Okay. Anyways, definitely good. I recommend. Like I said, if you're just craving like French fries, otherwise you're gonna be trying to get a full meal. It's gonna be expensive now. So, if I'm craving french fries, I'm going to be like, let me go to Arby's, get their thing for $5. But, $5 is like, Wendy's Biggie Bag, you know, like, Taco Bell's new cheesy thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. $5 can get you a lot more than just some other french fries. But like I said, not low quality. Okay, you get chicken pieces, you get big pieces of bacon, the cheese is good, and it's hot and fresh. At least my arm is good. You know, we always got the restaurant, you got the restaurant on this side of town, that's better than the restaurant on that side of town. And right now, well, this one's usually slow, the one on this side of town is usually slow. Um, but they're both good, so... I think the one on the other side down, closer to where my shop is at, is better. I'm going to just throw these in the box. They don't come out of there. Come on. Alright, so I rate those french fries. I definitely give those a 10 out of 10. The price, I give it like, I don't know. Like I said, real piece of chicken. If you count for the chicken and being a real piece of chicken, I'm going to say not too bad, but... I really went there for a cherry turnover because I want a dessert, but like where? 
<laughs> other than going into the store. I don't want to go into the store because my tail just left work and I'm tired. I didn't just leave work. Like it's been like an hour. <coughs> it's been two hours, which is ridiculous. What is going on with time? When I was at work, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's taking forever. Now I'm off of work. It's like midnight's coming. Anyways, I'm gonna try to make this long review. I just want to review the French fries. I think they're worth it. Go get them if you're craving French fries. If you're trying to get a meal, save the bucks. Go, you know, get an actual meal. Maybe you can ask them to make it the loaded fries, and maybe save a little bit. But I don't, I don't know yet. So, all right, y'all have a good night. Thanks for tuning in for my uh, Arby's Bacon Ranch Loaded French Fry Review. Y'all have a good night.